Hey, I'm Christopher Clayton, and today I'll be auditioning for George in Melancholy Beauty. And I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Bed style to be exact. Melancholic beauty. My uncle once told me that while he and his wife were on vacation, you babysat their daughters and son. And as a comical way of entertaining them, you complained that the house didn't have any beer. And you pretend ransacked the fridge for Heineken cans. None of them were able to contain their laughter. It was always interesting to me how you were an alcoholic, and yet you were the polar opposite of the abusive father cliche. Fathers like that hold the reputation for belt whooping their kids and verbally berating their wives, and yet you stood there taking it like a goddamn man, while my infant self stayed humbled, huddled in your arms, and peed uncontrollably on your black suit jacket. Never a single fuck or shit uttered from your mouth in my presence. Only contagious laughter shared from our absurd renditions of Sleepy Hollow. You were Ichabod, my lanky partner in crime. And we traveled the cave-like depths of our basement to vanquish the headless horsemen. My seven-year-old self woke up on that brisk, unassuming fall morning in my light green bedroom to see that you weren't there. I figured you were in the basement having a smoke. The orange carpeted, cinder block, walled nirvana of a of many a popcorn, Latin movie night, and rowdy birthday gathering. You filming me with our shitty Sony camcorder, cassette player, and all. While I clumsily break down a pinata while blindfolded. My family cheering me on. I walk down the basement steps to find you laying on the floor. I ran over to see if you're okay. My eyes widening in sheer panic. Your skin was cold and stiff when I nudged you. Your eyes rolling like white marbles when I tried to open them. I was in hysterics, weeping with dismay, clamping my hands on both sides of my head before running to the phone to call 911. The paramedics arrived, carrying your body in a stretcher, and escorted me out of the basement. I can still see your smile, scholarly white dress shirt, those dorky glasses of yours, black jeans like the ones I always wear now. Like the ones I always wear. Now, gray hair of an old soul, same dimples as mine. Sitting on your black rolling chair, mellowed out after a hectic workday, smoking a cigarette and making those large ring clouds I've never imagined or managed to master. I can hear your hearty laugh would not pick up a camera. Melancholic beauty.